Hello everyone. The the topic for today is investment loan. So in case you have borrowed some money for investment, it can be for property or for business. Uh, if bank is giving you option that you want interest only loan or P and I, which means that you want to pay interest only or you want to pay principal and you know you you want to pay principal also. So my recommendation. my personal advice it's your decision but my personal advice is to have interest only loan do not pay principal why you do not pay principal first of all you do not get deduction you are paying extra amount in the principal you cannot claim you 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 cannot claim that amount which you have paid as principal in your tax so that amount is going waste you are paying principal but you cannot claim in the tax number 1 and number 2 why do you want to increase your financial burden why do you want to pay it off let it remain like that the entire interest amount is it is tax deductible because it is for investment so leave it like that instead use that money that extra repayments which you have done to do another investment maybe investment property maybe a business maybe something like that where you can have some income so extra repayment for the principal you should do in you should make in make in you know second investment or third investment but do not pay principal that is not advisable on investment property is not advisable now bank will give you interest only loan for 5 years after that bank will say oh you have to pay principal also so what do you do then get refinance from another bank for another 5 years same bank will not give you uh, more term for interest only but you can refinance it and get it and you know get interest only loan from another bank so my personal advice do not pay principal use that extra amount to make another investment okay thanks for watching see you next time